All right, Amy. Can you see? Yes. Can you enlarge it a little bit? Yeah. I just got one column left to do. Oh, you, you did, um, so you did, we did the assignment total. Can you yes. shade it so that we can, you know, kind of stands out. Can you shade the, uh, the, those columns, like assignment total and percentage? All right, so the assignment total, that's all the... It just, wait, yeah, just grab, bo just grab both columns. This one too, the percentage? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Just, you know, you, you want the numbers to stand out. So just, no, 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 no not no. everything. Amy. Well, yeah. Just these two? Yeah, right. Yes. That's okay. the numbers. Okay. All right. Shade, color, background color. Background color? Yeah. Up, up in the... Uh, I'm lost. Up in the... Uh, your the ribbon. color. Yep. You got... Not that one. The next one. This to the one? left. Oh. The, what color do you want me to make it? Whatever color you want. Black. <laughs> I won't be able to see. <laughs> How about that? Oh, I just... Whoa! Good. We're going to stare at that color all night, Amy? <laughs> Yikes. It'll keep us awake. You want me to make another color? Well, the I thing like is... Color. The, the colors go all the way to the bottom. Like, it's too, it's overlapping, so... Undo and then just select those few cells. Oh, you right. know what I mean? Yeah. Yep. All right. Come on. No, just the cells. Yeah, there you go. There you go. All the way down. Yes. Okay. Excellent. There we go. All right. You want me to... Wow. Do the other um, one columns that I did? Uh, do, could you just use a lighter color? I mean, that color is a bit too, like, you know. Okay. Amy, no mouse yet, right? Oh, I have a mouse. I'm using it right now. Okay, great. So just grab those two cells, just like you did. Okay. All right, fantastic. Just something lighter, like the top row, or, or second, yeah, no. Yeah, that's fine, yeah, that's okay. This one? All right, yeah, okay. that's fine. Okay. All right, you know what? I don't want us to uh, leave out uh, Paula. That wouldn't make any sense, so. Let's kind of go through a few things again. Paula, let's try to see if you can get up to speed. Everyone was here, or even Art, right? So this might help you guys. I'm sorry. So, say it again. I, I'm sorry. Did you say something? I'm sorry. Yeah, I said, I said um, we're going to review this so that you and Art can, you know, know where we, how we got here. Okay. You have a new student. New students have to pay. <laughs> oh hi! She's so cute. Especially little little new students. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, let's see. So the file, this file. Uh, where is this file? I I I don't even think I have this file. H how did we get this file? I sent it to you guys or what? Yes, yeah, we sent it. Okay. Um, hmm. All right. Let me let me see something here because I think I might have. Actually, I should have it here. Sample grades, right? Yeah, sample grade. Yep, okay. Sample cool. Grade. All right. So let me take out assignments total. Take this out. Delete. Okay, and then we had 
go here. Uh, 20 percent and ten percent okay so I'm going to save it again and send it to you guys so if you look in your chat uh, in your chat art mm -hmm. and Paula okay uh, where is it here? Let me just stop sharing, Amy, for a second. Amy, okay. Going to stop sharing you for one second. Okay. So go to chat and the file is here. Sample grades open. I got to close it. All right. So Art, if you look in the um, chat, you're going to see that Paula. Okay. The file is there. Yeah, I see. Mm -hmm. So, Paul, let's go to your screen so I can just kind of show you how we got to this point. I have to download it. I guess so. Yeah, it take a bit. Hold on. Is there a lot of traffic? Or is it just a long commute? Um, it's both. I'm I'm actually moving though. I should be wow. like I'll say about twenty minutes. Okay. Well, maybe that gives enough time for Paul and Art to get caught up. Yeah, yeah. So don't I, break the speed limit. <laughs> All right, Paula, is it coming? Is it downloading? I use my personal hotspot. It takes time. It's a, and it's a small file, 26 I, kilobytes. Yeah, I'm trying to open it. It shows in the bottom, but I can open it. I don't know. It's just like the same files we've opened. Well, let's see your screen. Maybe I can help you out. It's right here. Where is it? Here. Yeah, let's click on it. Sales. Yeah, sales grades. Uh, this one, right? I'm clicking on it, but it, it's not coming up. <laughs> All right, why don't you open up Excel? Oh, there's something on your screen saying um, there's oh. a pop up there. And yeah, you just click not, that not, now. Yeah. There you go. So now click it. So same. So go to um go to your Excel, open up your Excel. Oh, is this one? Oh, it it's been okay. open. It's op it's been open for the last twelve years, yeah. Paula. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just I'm here, but I'm not here. <laughs> no, we need you to be here, spirit, soul, and body, everything. Be here. No, I have so much stuff going on. <laughs> 
Okay. Okay, okay. Paula, we're, we're doing this review for you. So are you going to do oh, this or not? I, I will, but I'm doing my best. Okay. Yeah. Yes, that's, that's all we can ask for, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now if you look at this uh, spreadsheet here, Art, you have it, right? Where's Art? He's there. I have it, I'm all set. Okay, so scroll up, uh, Paula, to the top of this document, the headings. Here? No, scroll, scroll, scroll up. You're missing a line. There you go. So you notice that, so this is a, this is like grades, right? You have students and you want to calculate their grades. Now, this is a very tough assignment. I mean, tough task we're trying to do. So mm -hmm. let me walk you through it. So you know how students are done with their schoolwork and each student has five assignments one lab, one group project, and two participation grades, right? Okay. So at the end, you're going to give them 100%, or at least all the grades come up to 100%. But not everybody's going to get 100%, right? So the weight of each grade, sorry, the weight of each category, right? So assignments are 50% of the total grade. You can see at the bottom there, labs are 20% yeah. of the total grade. Uh, group projects are 20% and participation is 20, it's 10%. So we have to kind of figure out, okay. Now you can see Amy told us yesterday that the first student had a hundred everywhere. So that first student is like, that's easy. <laughs> it's just gonna be a hundred percent because the student had a hundred for all assignments, for the lab, for the group project, and for the participation. So that's kind of easy. If every student got 100%, you wouldn't need Excel. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, but we do need Excel, even if every student got 100%, because you don't want to do things manually, all right? And now we only have about 12 students, because your students might be 35 students, or 60, or 100 students, or more, many different classes that you have to calculate so you got to think of we got to think of a you know of a formula or formulas that we can use to get this job done so each each category has uh have to be grouped that's what we're trying to do yesterday right for assignments you have to know all right how do we calculate how do, how, how do we make that into 50% of the final grade? The lab, 20% and all that kind of stuff. You understand what we're trying to do here? Oh, so. So what you do is you take all the assignments, like the first row, 100, 100. No, 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 Amy. No. Amy, Amy's talking like a, like, you know, like a master, like a professional, like a guru. <laughs> like, this is easy. Just take those things, put them together, hit it, hit it, hit it, boom, it's all set. No, let me break it down for Paula. Okay. So first of all, Paula, what do you think? Like, I know we had to go through a lot of conversation about this in class, but you understand the idea of, um, should I say, weighting each of the categories, like assignments are gonna be 50%. So for example, the second student there, Almonte, right? You can see that Almonte had, uh, if you just do the math. Student. Yes, the second student. Okay. That student had 100, 100, 49, 100, 100. Uh -huh. For assignments. So if you just do the math, that's what? That's 449, right? If you add up all those numbers. 100, first one assignment, 100, 100, two, three, four. Yes, 449. Assignment three is 49. Yes. 
So 449, right? Yes. Okay. So what we have to do is, whatever the score for assignments, it has to be 50% of the, to of the total grades. Right? It has to be 50% of total grades. So for that category of assignments, we need to somehow total, total the score. Yeah. And then we need a formula that's going to help us make everything into 50%. So. And then we'll do this. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't know. Add it up and take 50%. Mm -hmm. All right, so well, let's try it right with you here. Uh, could you increase your screen size? Because sometimes it's not like we don't know this thing. We just need to like think about it a little bit. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> we need to think about it and think about it and like, okay. Sometimes you got to write things down and try to just visualize. I mean, you probably know it in your head. I can do it on paper, but having to do it, you know, in Excel, so let's scroll up to the top. Okay, make it a little bit bigger still. Just maybe 125. Use the plus, use the plus plus. Or minus minus. Use the plus symbol or the minus symbol. Caller. Yes, you, you have more control that way. It's quick, not doing quick, quick, quick. You got to click it. I don't have the mouse. What? It's not working? Okay, drag it then. That's weird. More? Oh, you know why it's not working? Because you selected something, you typed something on the screen. Oh. So hit escape. Okay, now try to click on the pause. Okay, yeah, that's, that looks okay to me. All right, so Paula, what are you thinking about? First of all, to, to calculate the total for assignments only. Uh, add all the assignments uh, score points. Okay, so where do you put the results? Where do you put, where are you gonna put that? We have to uh, create a total column for each. Okay, try that. Oh, no, it's not okay. So, so why do we put, you want to put a column where? <coughs> At the bottom of the, uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I can see this. You want to put a column at the bottom? What do you mean at the bottom? Or next to it? I don't know. You're not allowed to say, I don't know. And you're not allowed to say, I'm not uh, sure. <laughs> you so, can say that. Paula. Uh, so how about we try to, to find the, the, the total for just the uh, uh, assignments? You see how we have one, two, yeah. three, four, that's five what I think. Yeah, so, that's what I think. The total of the assignments, but I don't know where to put it like in this. So I think we maybe we should go and uh, uh, add a column right uh, right next between the the lesson five assignment and lab. Oh, okay. Yeah. So how do you insert a column, Paulo? Go to insert. I don't even remember. Go to insert. Sorry, I don't know. You I tell me. Not... Let me see. Okay, right here. I think so. Problem. All right. So type a title at the very top. Uh, let's say assignment total or something. Yeah. Okay. Okay, excellent. 
All right, so Amy, remind us, how do we get the total in that H, H2? H2. Um, an equal. Oh, now you got to go down one. Yeah, yeah. And then I think it was going to be C2 plus G2. What, what's, the e what's the easy way? What's the easy way, Amy? Auto -song? You don't have to type. Up. Oh, just so you could put 500. Is that what you're talking about? Amy, what did you just, Amy, you said what? <laughs> Amy, the easy way is to put 500 in there? Yeah. Totally oh, man, not. Amy. Come on, Amy. That, then there's no formula if you just type 500 in there, right? Yeah. yeah um, what's what's the easy thing? way without having to type a formula? What's the easy way of getting the total? Auto song. Auto. There you go, Paula. That's what I meant, Amy. Oh, it's not just the, it's not just the easy way in terms of just give us the answer, but getting the formula. So Paula, how do you get the order sum? Do I select? No, 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 no. You you're on a totally different spot right now. Click, place your mouse where you were before. Select that box. Ah, yeah. Okay. Now go to your home tab and look for the other sum somewhere on your top okay. bar. It was just up there over there. I don't know where it went. Yeah, press home again. There it is. Right there. But yeah, I have the, this thing in top of, I can see, hold on. I'd... You you were very close to it. Yeah, I, I I have the image of you guys on top of it, and I don't know how to remove. Just it. move that image, Paula. Place your mouse around those pictures and just move them. You can move those pictures to the bottom of your oh, screen, okay. to the left of your screen. Yeah, okay. they're not stuck. They're not stuck there permanently. Okay. If you don't like Dale's picture, just move Dale. <laughs> Oh, I had no idea. Oh, I maybe. Do that. <laughs> yeah, you can move the boxes just like get rid yeah. of everybody. Like, okay, <laughs> you guys go to the basement or something, you know? Just move everyone away. <laughs> okay, so, all right, there you go. So if you click in that box, uh, Paula, double click in it to see the formula. All right, so you can see the formula there mm -hmm. C2, G2. So it selects. Um, so you don't have to. You don't have to. You don't actually have to select all the cells. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Excel automatically knows to look to your left for all your numbers, mm -hmm. okay. right? And then it just does the calculation for you. If you had words in between the columns, like if you had some columns with words, then it might have a problem doing the calculation. But you have only numbers, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now how do you apply that? Hit enter or escape. Yes. How do you apply that to all the students? Um, just come here and drag. Okay, excellent. So if you look at all the students, we know the first student, you know, had 100%. And if you go to the very bottom, actually, you have to fix your data for the last student. Thongsin, uh, something, Thongsin? This one? Tiongsin? Yeah. yeah. So if you click in that little 70 box, there's a comment there. You have to... Yeah, click that triangle and convert to number. All right, so you can see the number gets adjusted because sometimes the data is not always perfect. You might have to clean it up a little bit. So that student had only 270 points on assignments. And so they have 270. 
So now we have to do the hard task of converting all these numbers to 50%. Mm -hmm. Okay, to 50%. So that's the part where we kind of rounded up last night. So we're gonna go back to Amy so you can see what the formula is and how we did that. So good so far, Paula? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to try, like Dale said, it, to, take, to see the class from yesterday. I'll do it and I get more comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to revise the, the class. From, I'm going to okay. revise okay. the class from yesterday. I'll be more comfortable after that. Okay, no problem. That's good. Yeah. yeah. So you see how, um, like, what, in G, 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 what, G10? You have a dash in G10. G10? Here? Yeah, so all the dashes, you need to just delete them because they're going to affect your calculations. So just remove those dashes. Just make it blank, yeah. There's another one in the labs column. So just look around and just clean them up, okay? Okay. All right, so you're, you're kind of where we got to last night. We're gonna look at what Amy has and then you can just move on from there, all right? Okay, thank you so much. No problem. So Amy, back to you. Mm -hmm. Designated driver. <laughs> Take it well, away, it's, Amy. it's kind of feeding, right? It's also feeding, right? Oh, you gotta stop sharing your screen. Okay. No, you can just grab it. Well, let me. You can just grab it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, Amy, can you tell us how we got to this assignment percentage column, the column I? Paula, you see the column I, right? Yeah. Um, so you go into the box, you do equal. What box? I do I have two? And then I think it was, I gotta go over and see what. So C1. Uh, wait, wait, Amy, Amy, you jumped a little bit. First of all, we need well, to create a, so a uh, be, be, be an assistant professor for a second, Dave, Amy. Okay. So we've we got to insert the column first, right? Okay, I see. Yes, but mine's already done, see? Yes, but Paula doesn't have that. I see it, I see it. Do you want me to delete it all? No. Just... Just explain how we got to this point. So you insert a column, yep. you title it assignment percentage. Right. And then And then let's see what let's see what the formula is, yes. Just double click in there, you see the formula. There it is. H2. H2. And you so, uh, Alkeda, can you explain the way we have the formula there so maybe Paula and Art can get it? So, after we added the column for the lab percentage, we got the formula, formula which is... What's it? Uh, J2, which is the first... Uh, the percentage that we need divided by one, since we have only one column for the lab, and times 20%, yeah. which is the percentage. What are you talking about, Kika? Divided um, by five. On the lab column? No, we're on no, we're Are you looking at Amy's screen? Are you looking at oh, Amy's screen? Oh, we are on assignments, okay. Sorry, I jumped one column away. Can you see, can you see Amy's screen? Um, all right, let me make it a little bigger. All right, sorry. So I jumped to the lab because I was focusing on my screen as well. I have three screens in front of me. So to find the assignment right, so percentage, 
Yeah, based on what we have on Amy's screen. All right, go ahead, Okay. Okay, so we need to, to have 50, we have the 50 percenters for the assignment. So since we had the five assignments, we would do equals and we have to group. And that's why we use the parentheses. And we continue the formula, which is H2 divided by five, because we have five assignments mm -hmm. times 50%, which is the percentage that we need to find. Okay, so for all the assignments. So that's for the sec that student. For that student, student. for the okay. rest of the students, you gonna, okay. we just drag the formula drag. down yeah. and get all the results. And I'm sorry, why you, uh, we are using parentheses? As I said, we are grouping. Oh. So Paula, Fine. Paula, do you, let me, uh, Paula, when in, I don't know if it's high school or middle school, did you use um, PEMDAS? You know how you have to group first, parentheses first, um, yeah. multiplication first? Yes. What do you call that? Order, order of operation. What did you, yeah. what, did you what, what term did the teachers call it? Do you remember? Uh, I know you have to do parentheses. Well, whatever you call it, because when I grew up myself, we had a different name of calling it. Um, in high schools here, it's called differently. So it's PEMDAS, parentheses, exponents, M, uh, multiplication, yeah, exactly. divide. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. so for you to get an accurate calculation, you need to group the H2, which is 500, divided by 5. Mm -hmm. So the parentheses make sure that you, that operation is done first. Yes. Yeah, I know that. I, 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 I remember. Okay. The so order if you, of because if you don't do, exactly order of operations. Yeah. So we get our H two divided by five because you have five columns. If you had ten columns, it will be divided by ten. If you had twelve columns, it will be divided by twelve. Okay. Yeah. You're doing that. You're doing that because you want to get it to be out of a hundred percent. So H so. It's easy because the first student has 500 points. So it's kind of easy for us, right? So we got to say that 500, we want to get it to be out of 100%. Yeah, right? Of the total, yeah. So we divide that score by five columns, the five assignments. So oh. H4, H2 divided by five will give you 100. Yes. Then you multiply yes. 100 by the, the, uh, the weight of the category, which is 50%. Yeah. I um, I got it. <laughs> so when I when I signed up for this course, it was supposed to be Excel, not this deep math. I, I wasn't. So I was this is math, this is giving I, me some brain problems right now, <laughs> Dale. <laughs> I hear you. You know, like secretly, we're not good into the calculus and algebra and all kinds of crazy things. So, well, we'll survive with everyone's help. We'll survive. Yeah. I remember those things. Yeah. Okay. So, so Amy, if you hit enter, no, is that Amy or is that Al Qaeda? Yeah, that's Amy's screen. Me. Yeah. You want me to hit enter? So enter, or, enter or escape, just to come out of the formula. All right. So you see, Paula, that so the first student gets fifty percent. Then you apply it down to all students. The next student gets 44.9, and that's out of 100, right? Yeah. So we're going to do the same, something similar for the lab. The lab is uh, 20%. Then we're going to do the same, something similar for the groups, group projects at 20%. So once you know how many columns you're dealing with, you've got to divide by those columns so you can get it to be 100%. And they multiply by the weight, the weight of that category. And then when we're done with all four categories, we just add all the, all the columns together to get 100% for each student. Mm -hmm. 
So Art, um, can you see what Amy's doing and help out here? What's going to be in that column for the labs? How do we do that? Uh, uh, we're going to do the same. It's going to do uh, equals uh, J2 times uh, what is lab? 20%? What is the lab? Or times point two, Emmy. It's twenty. You can do twenty percent, or you can do point two. No, that's wrong. It's the same for both sides, right? All right, everybody. Let's all help out. I use a different <laughs> formula for that. Yes. You see, we have a, we have the formula already. Just look at what you had before. All right. Look at what you had before, and just mirror that same formula. You might have to change a few things, but Amy, you can come out of that. Come out of that cell. Hit escape or delete. The whole uh, thing delete? Yeah, just delete everything in there and then come out of it. Okay. Okay, now go to the formula you had for assignment percentage. No, pretty Click standard. in there. Yeah, the same with the um, parentheses. Like yeah, right there. Click in there. Okay. That's I exactly what you need to have. Yeah, just look at that. That's what you need to have in there. You might need to change a few things around, but that's mm -hmm. close to what you need to have. But honestly, there should be a pretty straight formula since we only have one one column on the lab. We only have one one column, so. Oh, I just want. It should be pretty simple. Yeah, you have. Just... Well, uh, I don't know if it's simple or hard, but once you you have an example that you've done before, right? Just copy what you did before and then change what you need to change. So you don't have to reinvent it. You already use the formula, you get the first result, then you change the percentages here. So Amy, go, go back to that formula, double click in that sp space. Okay, so it's J2, right? J2 yeah. is 100. Mm -hmm. Do we have the division in the right place? Yes. J2 divided by out. 1. J2 divided by 1 times 20%. Yeah. Hold on. That, oh, yeah, it is 20%. Okay, so that should be about right. But when you click on it, it comes out to 2,000. I used the same click formula on. and I got the results. Yeah, so did I. The same thing that I have yes. right now? Yes, same exact thing. But not, it doesn't come out okay. as 2,000. Let's do this, Amy. Let's make it, uh, let's see if we can do this. So delete that cell. Yeah, delete that, delete what you have in there. Now go to the um, I2 and just copy that cell. That's yeah. it. No, 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 don't double click. Don't double click. Don't double click. Right. Just click in it. Come out of it. Okay, just just click in it one time, the I2. Okay, now copy, Control C or copy, you know, right click, copy something. Control C. Okay, now paste it in, yeah, right there. Control P. No, no, v, Control like V. V, oh yeah. That's P was wrong. taken. P, P was taken by print. Oh, okay. It's still wrong. Yeah. So click in there. In this one. Yes. Double click in there. And change the fifty to twenty. Oh, okay. And they are you change the five to one. As I see that. Okay, hit enter. 
Oh, why didn't it come out that way before? Yeah. That's Good question. I had Good it. question. Good question. You see, sometimes, and I can't really explain this. You know, I can't defend Excel. You know, I try to defend Excel. It doesn't always work. But I know that sometimes when you try to type, for some strange reason, it just, like, Gail, we were trying to do the replace the other day, right, replace and something, and it just wouldn't accept it, right? Yeah. So we had to copy directly from the cell and paste it in there. I don't, I don't know. It's just, it gets very, um, what's the word? Whatever the word is, right? It's very, what's the word I'm looking for? Very picky. Excel. Likes things in a certain yeah. way. Yeah, I guess so, right? It, it wants things to be done a certain way. So, so when, all, when, when you're trying to type and it doesn't work, well, just copy and paste from somewhere and then just edit it. Because mm -hmm. what you type here, Amy, yeah. is exactly what you typed before, right? Exactly, yeah. That's why I couldn't figure it out. Copy. So, there you go. So let's apply that to all the other uh, students. Okay. Okay, so you can see that um, uh, Nabushao has uh, 18, uh, Quack has zero, so students, you know, who have no grades, you know, have zero, basically, all right? So when you think about it, just looking at it, uh, the second student, Almonte, has 44.9 for assignments, 20 for labs, right? So that's almost 60% already. See what I mean? So it kind of tells you you're on the right track. So when you're done, you're just going to add all the percentages, right? So you just got two more to do. All right? Making sense? Make sense? Art? Right. Paula, is it making sense? Yes, it does. Yeah, I see. Okay, so let's take a couple of minutes now uh, and let's finish it up. So Amy's going to complete hers. Okay, now let's all complete what we have here. And then let's see what the total is for each student. So do the percentage for the group, the percentage for the participation, and then you do the total. I will see what it is. So everyone just take a few minutes and let's do that. All right. Yeah. I'm trying to copy and paste that cell, but it won't let me. Oh, why did I even bother? Whatever, now it's a mouse.
them up. That's all we'll do. Oh, let's just keep doing that. I'm having trouble too, Amy. I just, I don't have the number. patience for this crap. It just keeps coming out different things. Like no matter what I do, I don't, I don't understand. Yeah. I'm having some trouble too with numbers that aren't making sense. Can't even put 200 in without it coming out to 20,000. That's what I'm, that's what's happening with me too. Exactly what's happening to me. And then where's the percentage? Why is that coming out? All right, Amy, what do you got? I'm just having nothing but trouble. I, I don't know. Okay. No matter what I so, do, I get 2,000, 20,000. I don't know. All what right, so you? how did we... Wait, wait, wait. Why are you in a participation? Do you, have you done the group? I'm trying to figure out what you have here. Okay, yeah. you did the group total. That's fine, right? Yeah. And now I'm All right, so... Here. Can you copy what you had in the M M two and put put it in there, just like with your copy paste? No, because I think I no. handed all these. No, don't don't um don't don't select this. Don't select inside the cell. Just use your use the arrows on your keyboard. Okay, yeah, just just click it one time. Okay. There you go. That's it. So copy and paste it in that P2. All right, copy. Now paste it. Cop v, control V. There you go. Paste now copy. change to double click in there and change the values. Oh no, I, I did this one all by hand. That's why I don't have it there. Now that's why you're in trouble, Amy. Exactly. Because there's no formula there. There's no formula there. So that's never going to work. No. So I'll... When you, when you use Excel, the point of using Excel is for Excel to do the work. Right. So if you, if you do it by hand, then what's the point, right? Right. Okay. So delete what you have in that M column, all those numbers. Because, you know, that's not going to work. There's no formula there. Right. So how do you get, so we, we did the copy and paste before, right? right do so the copy me... and paste from the from K2. How about that? K2 and go, the, yeah, there you go. And now control C over the control V. And now double click. There we go. And now I just got to change this, this to an M, right? Mm -hmm. There's a group total, group total 20. No, this should be right. So I should be able to just press enter. Yep. Perfect, perfect, thank you. <laughs> All right, so same thing for uh, participation. Click. So the thing is, once you've done it before, you can just do it again. Right, you know? exactly. Just do it exactly how you did it before. You change the, If you have to change the values, change the values, change the you know, numbers, and just apply it to everybody. And this is 10, so I just got to change that to 10. Enter. Perfect. What else you got to change? What? It's not perfect yet. What else you got to change in there? Double click it. In here? Yes. Oh, I got to make this. What else you got to change there? A, this is going to be a two. Now, why is that a two? 
Yeah, because it's two numbers you have to add. Two columns, you mean? Two columns, two, two columns. numbers, yeah. Two columns. Okay. That's not right. That should have been a 10. So go back in there and see what, what happened. All right, maybe it should be N. What is N? N2. All right, so there are two columns, Amy. You only have one column there. So what are you trying to do to both columns? That's the question. Add them up. You have, you have N. Exactly, so how do you add two columns? Two plus O2 divided by, all right, let's see if that works. You didn't turn? No, that didn't work either. Okay, we'll just go back in there. Oh. All right, so N2 plus O2 divided by two times 10. I think there's something wrong here. So hit enter again. What's it giving you? 15, it should be 10. So, N, so it's saying N2 plus O2, which is 200, 200 divided by Two should be 100, 100 times. I think what do we need to do is. I think there should be I want to try it. What's that? I think the two should be on the outside. You don't need the 10% in there, Amy. No. So take the 10, the percentage out? Yeah. What, what do you mean? Why don't you need 10% there? Because we're not trying to get the percentage, we're trying to get the participate, participation total. Oh, Amy, that's right. You're, ju we're ju you're jumping ahead, Amy. Get mm -hmm. the total first. Right, the total. And then we'll do another Just column with percentage. Oh, that's exactly. why. Okay. Yeah. You don't need, right. You don't need the 10 oh, in there at all. Okay. So trying to do everything. Else. Okay. So O2. Don't even need the person. You can just do the auto sum for those two. Oh yeah. Right. Okay. It's easier, quicker. Thank you. No problem. No, if you do the auto sum, they don't, it doesn't know oh my God. to do that only the two oh, N and O do, does it? You just highlight the participation one and two and do auto sum and it will work for you. Drag it all the way to, yeah. No, it's not working. That's not working. This is just going to be a little, we'll go on to N2, no, we're going to do equal first. Equal. Amy, Amy, yeah. Amy, Amy, stop. Delete what you have there right now. Okay. Highlight N2 and O2 and P2. It's not letting me highlight it. Because you're, you're dragging, you're not highlighting. Don't drag. Just select, there you go, just select and move your mouse to the next column. There you go, there you go. Now hit auto, auto sum. Oh, thank you. All right, now we'll do this. Nope. Nope, oh nope, nope, God. Amy, 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 you gotta slow down, Amy, slow down. Okay. Control Undo Z. Undo what you just did. Okay, see right, stop, you see right now, you have those three cells selected. If you drag it down, it's going to just apply everything. That's not what you want to do. You only, you only want to apply the formula. Right. 
to you. So now so I... So click in the cell that you want. Exactly. You, you, we got to slow down. There we go. All right. There you go. Yeah. Finally. Okay. Finally. Yes. Now we have to get the percentage for participation. Not the total grade yet. Oh, okay. So, Amy, I want to see you do this all by yourself. We did this before, right? Yeah, for the copy and percentage. Paste, yeah. All right, let's see. All right, so let's see. We'll take this. We're going to... Oops. Copy. And we're going to paste it. Why aren't we going to paste? <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't copy anything, Amy. Control C. That's not good. That's not going to work. You're not copying anything. How? Don't don't click in the cell. Just just click the cell, not in the cell. Okay. All right, do it now. Oh, okay, I see. Total. Now change your values. Okay. So it's gonna be, oh, divided by two. What is it, 10? Final, perfect, okay. So how's that look, Amy? It looks perfect. Okay, we're gonna go go deal screen now, and then see how we can get the total. Okay, I ha I still have to get the participation in there, so I'll, sure, I'll no problem. Does we got happen? time. <laughs> I mean, you got Amy here. You can't have any problems, right? <laughs> hey, Amy, I'm, I'm counting on you. Okay, so I'm trying to get no, the... No uh, pressure. No pressure. I'm trying to get the, uh, the formula to go over here, and I'm having trouble into the participation percentage. So I went here. I clicked. I did copy. And I get the dancing ants which is not right. So I do an escape and I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. What am I get, why am I getting the dancing ants? Any suggestions? Hello people. Amy, Did, why is Dale to... getting the dancing ants? The marching ants. So you have to press on that and then copy and then bring it over here and then drop it. Yeah, and that's what I'm trying to do and I'm getting the dancing ants. So I'm... See? I do control... Uh, I do control... C and not get the marching ants. Is anyone listening? No one is paying attention to Dale. You guys are not replying at all. You're not responding to what Dale is asking. 
I think I've stumped everyone. Sorry, Dale. Uh, but Dale, you're sorry. already I done couldn't... over here. Did you guys add new here. hotels? You're okay. done in the group project percentage. I know. I'm trying to get the formula from here to move over oh, to here. Okay, so click once in the box. Can and I, then... Can I make a suggestion, Dale? Yes, so please. Instead, uh, since it doesn't work that way, right? Why don't you try to to art, to, to, art, just to have art, the idea? Art, art, yes. art. Listen to Dale's question, right? Okay. So Dale, what's the question? Or what's the, question, the problem? I want you guys to listen to the question, right? Okay, go ahead. Okay, the question is when I click over into group project percentage and I do control C, I get the marching ants, which is not what is supposed to be there. The, the question is, why am I getting the marching ants? Because you are copying it. Now click on the Q2. On what? Oh, on Q2? Yes. And paste? Paste. Mm -hmm. Now fix the formula. Or is it the same formula? Probably. There's no divided by what is it? Yeah. Two? Divided by two, yep. So change that one to a two deal. In participation, that's 10%. So you gotta change the two to a one. So oh, you're saying that there is not a problem that I had the marching. No. When when it shows that deal, it means that he's copying it. Now hit enter. Thumbs up. I don't remember seeing the dancing ants on Amy's. Well, you're special. Yeah, you show her mind too. <laughs> Dale, the ants love you. <laughs> yeah, they sure do. <laughs> <laughs> so you're Not always going to get like marching that. ants. You're always going to get marching ants when you copy. It's part of it. Maybe you didn't notice, but it always happens. Every time you want to copy something, you're always going to see the marching ants. When you paste, then they go away. You haven't noticed oh. at all? What? <laughs> Just try again, Dale. Just try it again on the next one. <laughs> no, because Dale, Dale says, what's wrong? I'm seeing the marching ants. I'm like, what do you mean what's wrong? It's supposed to be... That's what you're supposed to see. No, so I'll try to figure out. Was dumped. It's holy <laughs> days. Am I, am I uh, getting the question? Uh, they're supposed to dance. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Exactly. It's supposed to dance. <laughs> exactly. Oops. Oops. Let's try that again. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Good job, Dale. <laughs> okay, so okay, Rowena, Rowena is back home, safe and sound. That's great. Yay! I'm trying to follow along. Did you guys add new columns, or yeah. did you for uh... all right? So, so Rowena, you see how you do you remember? Because I know yesterday was kind of tough. Do you remember how we got the first column? The um. Dale, could you show us that? The uh, first one we did was assignments. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just messing. Okay, so. Um, Go on, scroll up to the assignments column. Yep. Okay, go to the right a little bit. Okay, so, Rowena, do you remember how we got the assignments total? Yeah, you did a formula. Uh, equal, uh, it was like a parenthesis. I think I wrote it down. No, no, assignments total. Double clicking assignments total, uh, please, uh, Dale, H2. Double click. So that's the, that's the, uh, auto sum, right? Rowena? Yep. Do you remember that? Yep. I'm going to go check mine. I'm just looking at your screen. I'm going to go look now. 
get out. Sorry, that's my daughter. It's been a day today. Um, okay. Um, yep, I have that in, in H, H2. I have equals sum the formula. And then we drag it down and it added the totals in H. Yep. Yeah. So that so that column is basically that, um you're adding all the all the five columns for assignments, right? Yes. And then okay. we did labs. Um so the assignment percentage column. Dale, could you click in the um yeah, right here. there. All right. Because my why do I So do you recognize uh, okay. that formula, Rowena? Uh, one second, because I wrote it down. Let me just see if I put it in, because I, I added columns. So, yep, I, I did that. Yep. And then J. So what do you, no, 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 no. So could you click in that again, uh, Dale? Yeah. So what do all those values represent, Rowena? What's the H2, what's the five, what's the, and all that um, stuff? H2, H2 divided by five times 50%. Why are we dividing by five? Uh, because it's, is it Just slow down, just slow down, just slow down. It's 500, just, yeah. Why are we dividing by five? Why not six or it's seven? Five, it's five assignments. Hmm. Okay, five assignments, yes. Yeah. Now, why why do we need the parentheses? Um, those are um, the parentheses. Oh, because it takes uh, it hits all the columns all at once. Yeah. Takes the five the five Pemdis. assignments. Oh, yes. okay, okay. Oh, okay. I thought we were doing it because remember you were combining the columns. I think I was confused. I don't know if Dale remembers, but I, I think I'm behind. <laughs> it was like assignment, the one, two, three, or four, something, and I, it, it was like highlighted. I thought you were combining it, but I do so, have PEMDAS. I remember PEMDAS, but I'm a little confused. I'm trying to catch up. So the parentheses is part of the math equation, is basically mm -hmm. what you're saying. Okay, now, could you remind uh, Rowena a little bit? Let's help, let's help each other here. The formula that we have on column E is H2, which stands for assignments total. We're divided by five, which is the number of the assignments that we have, times 50% is the percentage that we need to find. So the H2 so divided so by five. I'm sorry, sorry, Dale. It's okay. What was the question? The H2, first we have to find, first we have to find. H2 um, is the total assignments, the 500. Right. Divided it has by to be five, divided by five. Which is our number of the assignments, one, two, three, four, five, and times 50%, which is the percentage. Okay, value. then why, why do we need to divide by five? That's the question I think Rowena wants to remember. Why do we need to divide by five? Why do we need to put in the parentheses? What's the point because of that? Because we are grouping. We are grouping. We have five assignments and we are grouping them. That's why we divide them by five. Okay, that's what I was saying. I thought the parentheses were yeah. group the assignments. So that. So why are you grouping them? Why, why are you grouping uh, them? The columns, it, it highlighted all those columns, yeah? I have to look. Let me just look at mine. Okay. Remember that we're trying to get the categories out of a hundred, right? So Rowena, assignments is 50% of the total, of the total grade. Yeah. So, so the assignment total for the first student is 500. Second student is 449. We need to know what that score is out of a hundred, 
So when you divide by five, it gives you out of 100. Now, the first student is easy because the first student had 100%. So when you say H2 divided by five, it brings it over out of 100, right? Right. You times 50%, and it gives you the weight of that category, 50% out of 100. So when you group it, you're basically saying 100 times or rather you're saying the assignment's total out of 100 times 50%. Yeah. So your assignment's total. Like it's like a... Go ahead, Paula. Yeah, because uh, this is like it's a math rule. Like when something is in a parenthesis, in order of operation, it means you have to do that first, then the, uh, what, we, um, what is out of the parenthesis after. So you have to take that part first. That's in, because in math, you like that. When you have something in parenthesis, yeah, the you, the you have, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you need that first, then you divide for the, that means like that one needs to be done first. Like the calcul that calculation needs to be done first. Okay. So, so the critical thing here is we need to get the assignments total, right? And figure out how do we um, make this score H2 out of 100, which yeah. is the total yeah. score for all grades combined. So H2 divided by five, right? Gives you 100 times 50% gives you 50%. So each student needs to be out of 100%. 449, uh, 449, right? Same thing, divided by five times 50%, 400. Whatever score you get is out of 100. Yeah. And then times 50% for the weight of that group. Okay, and then you drag it down. And that's the same formula you apply to all the other categories. You just change the, you might change the uh, percentage depending on the weight of the category or the number of columns, right? So an easy way to uh, replicate this is, uh, Dale, could you come out of that cell? All right, so the next uh, cell we need to do this for is the labs. Rowena? Yep. I'm following. So if you go to the labs, now the labs, you only have one column, so you don't, you know, you don't need a, a lab total column, right? Because it's just one column. Mm -hmm. So if you click in the percentage in K2, or you double click in there, oh. you see that it's a very, it's a similar uh, formula. Right, J2, which is the total for the lab, divided by one, which is just one column. 20%, right? 20% is the weight of that category. Um, so I have a question. Um, so it's the same formula. Would I um, control C in- Yeah. Yeah. You just, you just, you just move your mouse to, okay, let's do that again, Dale. Could you just delete all those values, Dale? Uh, K2 all the way to K25, I think, or K15 or something. You have to come out of it first. Oh. Here's the dance hit again. Escape. again. Hit, hit. Yeah, just hit escape, hit escape. Okay, so highlight everything down right there, delete. Okay, and Dale, how do we do the copy? So, Rowena, watch this. <laughs> you would choose me to do the copy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, you go into assignment percentage column, and you uh, control C, and you get the marching ants, and then you come over to lab percentage, and click in the cell, and then do control V for, uh, for um, Copy. Uh, paste. Paste. And then let's look at the, and then that's- All right, that's uh, stop, stop Dale. 
So, Rowena, look at what Dale just copied now. Yeah. Now, what do you need to change in that formula? What needs to be adjusted? Okay, one second. Uh, let me look. <sighs> Dale, could you move your mouse a little bit out of the way? Okay, thank you. Uh, K2? Wait, J. Um, Rovina, what does J2 represent? Um, 100. It's J2. No, what does it represent in terms of what values? That's the lab, right? The lab result. Okay, and so it's 100 oh, for that student. Okay. 100, yeah. It is divided okay. by the now, divided. Now, what's it going to be divided by what? What's the number? Five. It's five assignments. Why is it five? Oh, well, it's already did that. Are there five labs? Do you have five labs? No. How many labs do you have? One. Remember, we copied this formula, right? So we have to, you know, make some changes. So I don't know. I'm looking at mine. I don't know if it's because um, I added columns, but I have more than one lab here. Okay. How many labs do you have? Oh my God. It's going all the way to Q. I don't know what I press. So. You have like 10 labs? I think I, I tried to highlight the, like, um, change the color. Okay, let's go to your screen. Let's, let's, go, let's go to your screen, Dorina. Let's see what you got. Let's go to your screen. Goodness. Let's see how crazy this situation is on your oh, end, Dorina. Because I'm, I'm, I'm over the place right now. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I want to hold up this class. All right. No, you're not holding up anything. Yeah. Uh, you guys you have your, there. just like you have your day in court, right? You have your, uh, you have your, what's the word? You get what I'm trying to say. All right. Okay. Right, so, so where are your labs? Where are all the labs you have? All over here. Hold on. Okay, get this out of the way. I think I dragged. Yeah. What? Yeah, I, I dragged. Rowena has, Rowena has 60,000 labs. I was trying to follow. I was looking at her, her page and I don't know. I dragged something. I don't know. I did something. So. Yeah. Obviously you did something. Yeah. More than a few things, Rowena. Yes. Okay. So. Hmm. Um, we did a cleanup job here. We need to call the waste, uh, the waste department. I mean, okay, I well, can go back and look, so I don't want, you know, we, I can follow along. I can, I guess I can undo some things. No. I think it's going to take my, this is a total, this is a total disaster. This is a total disaster. <laughs> okay. So. It's actually, it's not too complicated, Rowena, right? So highlight, uh, escape out of that marching ends. Just hit escape. Yeah. Okay. Now highlight G, I mean the L column. Just click on the L. Drag it all the way to the right. Just keep going to the right. No, 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 no. Just stay in the L. No, 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 no. Undo that. What you want to do is you want to select all the columns, right? So highlight just click on l uh -huh. okay now just select all the way to your right and keep going so hold the, the mouse down and drag it yeah sure oh. yeah to the right just keep going you keep okay. going till you get to the end of the labs keep going keep going keep going okay stop okay now right click don't no 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 just right click on the ad or something yeah right click there and delete. Okay, there you go. It's cleaned up. Okay. So all you're going to do is you just have to type the, the titles and blah, 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 and you'll be all set. So type uh, what we have labs, we have group project. Okay, that's all you're missing, just a group project. Okay. No, group project and participation. You have two participations. 
Yep, right there. What was that group participation? No, no, not group. Just participation one, participation two. So while we uh, while Rubina is fixing this, uh, you guys can go on and calculate the totals for what you have. Maybe that's the easy part. I'm just guessing. Okay. So participation two. So space out your columns. Okay. Uh, just highlight those three columns, uh, Rowena. Highlight uh, down to down to row fifteen. The three columns. Down to row fifteen. You don't need the whole entire column. Just down to row fifteen. Um, it's kind of highlighting it. Rowena, click in one cell, click in one cell, and then drag it down. Okay, keep going. You want to you want to grab all three. Rowena, click in group yeah. project. Click in group project. Okay, drag it down. No, no. Just select. No, don't drag. No, Rowena, slow down. All right. Hit undo. Okay. Just highlight, just, no, just highlight. Click on group project. Drag to your right. No. Nope. Drag it? Yep, 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 yep. Rowena, you're trying like to Rowena, you're not trying to apply you're not trying to apply anything. You're just trying to select all three cells, right? So just click in there and move to the right. There you go. Now come down. Down to row fifteen. Why do you keep going in the in the in the in the corners? So Grab this. It's not. It's not working. Yeah. Rowena, yeah. just select select the three rows, the three headings, and just select downwards. That's all. Now keep going down. That's that's all you need to do. Right there. Now go to um the font column, the font uh, in your head in your ribbon, and select all uh, what you call it all borders. Go to the left, 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 right there. All borders, right there. There you go. Okay, now it looks like the other cells, right? Yeah. Okay, so we just need to get the numbers now for the. So let me read it out to you. Um. Actually, if it helps, maybe you can just do a copy and paste. So let me put it for you in the chat. I put it there earlier, right? Okay. So let me just stop sharing you for one second. I'll put the same file so you can just kind of copy it instead of having to start over. Okay. Uh, let's put it right here. All right. So when you open it up, just copy the cells that you need into your existing work, right? You see it in the uh, chat. Yeah. The Sample grades, so download that. Yes, yes. So you just need those three columns, the groups, group project scores, participation one scores, and participation two scores. Just copy and paste that. Um, copy and paste that in your columns. That way your, you have all the numbers. Okay. And then we're just going to copy the formulas and paste and make the, and do the edit, right? A lot of, you know, working with computers, I find by experience that, and you guys are experiencing that too, it's a lot of repetition. But you got to remember, what did I do the last time and do it again? 
what I did the last time and do it again. It's just a lot of repetition. So the problem you're going to have is if you don't remember what you did before, then you're going to be stuck. But once you remember, okay, I did this before, just copy that, paste that, redo it. And then you do it over and over and over and over and over and over again. Right? So I know that after, you know, a hard day, you're coming to class, it's hard to, like, get yourself back to that rhythm. Well, I know that. So what do we do about that? I don't know. Dale, what's the magic bullet? Um, I'm sorry, but I'm trying to figure out how to do the totals and percentage. I wasn't listening to More what you were Oh, okay. So I was just kind of talking to myself. Oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> I was preaching to myself. Oh, and everyone was just like, whatever he's saying, I just need to focus on getting these percentages and get the totals. Okay, well... <laughs> When you watch the video, you hear everything I said, right? Yeah. And you're like, oh, that was what he was rumbling about. Oh, I get it now. All right, so Rowena, well, since Rowena is paying attention to me, I'm just going to go back to Rowena. No, no, please don't. I have a question. <laughs> no, no, don't let me drive this bus right now. Really quick. <laughs> so I, I, I would like you to move along. So you sent me the link, right? I opened it and LMN is not in there. What am I copying to put into the L? Do you want me to take the formula from? What do you mean LMN is not there? What you need, remember that we've added new, we've mm -hmm. added new cells, new columns, right? To the current work. Yeah. We have in the new in the current in the current file you have Rowena, we yes. added the new cells for totals and percentages. At least we did that for assignments. And, did we do that for the lab yet? Yeah, we did that for the lab, right? So assignment assignment total assignment percentage lab lab percent group project exactly. Project. Okay, so and okay. the one you sent so me, because because you have the lab the labs you know like all about the columns we have to delete that part. Okay. Yeah. So now you need to get the student scores for a group project, right? Okay. What you have right now is blank. So what I sent to you right now, it has the student scores for group projects and participation, no? The scores, not the totals, because we haven't done the totals, just the scores, the actual scores the students had. Yes. Yeah. That's in the new file, right? Yes. So highlight just the scores and paste it in the same column in the current file you're working on. Okay, Rowena, let's go to your screen. I don't like the look on your face. Today's not my day. Let's go to your screen. It's not my day today. Okay. You guys, you know, today's technically the, might be the last day of this class, except you guys decide to come here on Monday. So we're going to make this good. Oh, no. I didn't I think about what? it. No. <laughs> I didn't know today every, was the last every, day. Every party comes to an end. The drinks run out. The food is gone. Everything is gone. <laughs> They turn off. They turn off the lights and oh, say, I don't "Okay, want to be bye." That one that's Go dragging home. the class on. Yeah. Listen, I can rewatch this video. Let I'm I'm following along. If you call someone else, but I will show you what I have because I think I'm a little bit confused because I'm tr I was trying to insert things and I I'm all over the place, so I don't, don't want to hold the class up. But Rowena, Rowena, what you just said now is unique to everyone, including art. Everyone. Well, I see <laughs> right. everybody's with face. Stuff. I see everybody. You look at Paula. You know, she got a hand up <laughs> Amy's up here. Dale's just like, you know, Art's you got his hand. You know, I'm just, I'm here. <laughs> I, like I said, I'm seeing y'all too. Right? You guys were ahead of me, so I'm behind. No, 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 no. <laughs> So I, I feel bad. I don't want to hold it. Listen, no pressure. No, over no, we no, no it's not pressure. Now, but okay. I respect everyone's time, and I know no, it's you're, you're the best I student. You. I have. <laughs> I, I'm <laughs> struggling with my own stuff. It's fine. 
I get it. I, I can <laughs> No, but wait, Rowena, Paula yeah. didn't even know any of this stuff, right? I Paula had know. to like, okay, what's going on here? But I, I was going a right? little bit with the, you know, some of you guys have the cells, you know, you've been doing this stuff in the medical field and all, you know, so it's like, it's clicking, you know? Come on, people, come on, Rowena, come on, like, come on, let's do it, let's do it. I have somebody doing this for me, I didn't have to. Exactly. Uh, Ex exactly. Well, excuses. Excuses. No, we don't is, want to. Rowena, show me your screen. Let's see your uh, screen. Uh, Forget uh, about I'm, all that stuff. Am I sharing? <laughs> oh, am I sharing? Rowena, yeah, you I'm are. I'm having trouble. I'm having trouble to my own team. <laughs> That's all <laughs> I'm like. I just, <laughs> I just don't want to, you know, hold it up. All right, so this is what Listen, I. Listen, everyone, everyone has trouble. Okay, so let's see what you got. I'm a little slow here. Okay, so. Right. So where's the file you just, you just opened? That has the all the raw data. So the one I just this is this is your current working file. Where's the new file? Hold on, this thing here is in the way. How about how about on the Excel? On the Excel, it's a, it's kind of like behind. Yeah, right there, the Excel. Yep. So one of those files. Yes. Okay. So right here. That's right. So that's what you need right there. So highlight the the scores for group project participation and participation two. Okay. So no, the, no, not the, not the whole thing. You already have the headings, right? Right there. So right there, drag to the right. Just drag. No, no, don't go to the corners. Just drag. Then come down. That's it. Hit Control C. Now go to your file, your current working file. Yeah. Scroll to the right. Now stick your mouse in L what L two, yep. and paste. Control V. Yeah. Okay. So there you go. That's I'm it. Confused. So I was looking at the column because I I highlighted I, but I'm looking at L and M N. So do you not understand what I was looking at? <laughs> no. So the columns I J and K, yeah. I was confused. I'm looking at L and M. I'm looking at this. I'm not paying attention to what you've already. Did. Yeah, that's because that's and because I, you and, added some new columns, yeah. right? Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I wasn't following. Okay. So that's what all that was about. All the drama, Rovina. <laughs> I don't want to be. <laughs> Should I take this? Out? Okay. Well, you're good. So. What you need to do now is create a new column for group project and one more for participation. You're almost there. This is where everyone is at. So you go here, insert. That's for a new column. It should be on the right side. Okay, actually, uh, that's for labs. No, so undo that. That should be on the right side. Move. That will be on the, the right of group projects, not on the left. <clears throat> That's it. Now put one on. No, you have. You're gonna have one in the P column for participation. Nope. You no. What are you doing? You already have a free column there. There's a free column on the P column. You don't need to create anything right there. It's gonna be there. All right. Okay. So your headings. You need a heading for M M one, which is group project percentage, because there's only one group project. So you don't need to. Yep. Uh, yeah, expand. So now, how do you get the how do you get the value in there? Just go to K two. Control C and then go there. Control V. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's easy. Piece of cake. Just go there, paste it, and drag it down. Before you drag, click in there and, and you know edit the values. Should I hit Escape for this? Escape. Oh, uh, yes. That you hit escape with the wrong thing. Just undo. Undo. Okay. okay. So double click in there and edit if you need to edit that. Double click. Okay. Well, you lost your formula. Yeah. So delete everything in there and copy and paste again. It looks like this is the hardest task we've ever done, right, guys? This is like stressing everybody out. <laughs> this is 
there's no formula. I thought this was going to be the. I thought it was going to be like the easiest task. Like you guys are just going to say, "What? Like, are we like in in you know in K two or something?" Is this a, you know? <laughs> is there a formula in here? Because there's no formula. Double click in there. How are you going to know that? Double click in there. Yeah, no. What do you do to all the formulas? Okay, you know what? Just copy that one over there. Copy that. I think it was kind of what Amy did earlier. Maybe, I don't know, maybe you got the wrong file. Copy that, paste it in the K2. So just hit Control V here while this is still lit. All right, so go in there and edit that. Um, double click in there. To change your values, it's divided by what? How many how many labs do you have? We're back to the first question, remember? Two. Two labs. There are two labs. What's the other one? Oh, wait a minute. One lab. It's one. So, di so divided by what? What are you doing? J1, exactly. J2, divided by what? Oh. One. Yeah. Okay, what's, what's the percentage of that category of the, of the labs? I think it was 20. Yep, 20. 20. Yep. All right, so click in there and then drag it all the way down to apply the formulas. No, now you've got to drag, not select. This is the time to go in there, there you go, and apply it all the way down. Okay. Okay, that's done. Now do the same thing for the group project. See, this should just like, boom, boom, boom. So go to M2, copy what you have in K2, paste it in M2, edit. Okay, click in M2. Now, how many uh, group projects do you have? One. Okay, what's the percentage of that column? Oops. I mean, sorry, what's the, um, so divided by one times, what's the weight? Is it 20%, 10%? It's 20. It's 20%. Okay, so hit enter and drag it down. All right, you're done. The last column. So go to P, give it a heading. Participation, uh, total first. You go to the total, because you have more than one column, so you need an extra participation total. All right, so how do you get total in there for uh, those two columns? Uh, just total. These two, you, you drag it and hit auto sum. Every time you ask a question, Rowena, do what you're uh, thinking. Okay, and then drag it down. What are you dragging now? You're dragging all three columns. I know, I'm sorry. There you go. Uh, can you delete that um, little dash in uh, 0, 0, 014? Yeah. Yep. Okay, one more column now for the percentage. And you're done. All you did is you total all the different values, all the different categories, rather. So participation percentage. Okay, so we're going to go to Arcada now. We'll come back to you. Yes. Uh, Marina, it looks like you're driving. You're, you're cruising now, right? <laughs> it's now it's working now it is working you just okay and it's good you didn't get a ticket so oh. you're good all right okay let's see what you got let's see who got the total all right let me go ahead. so i want some good news all right can you so could you zoom on your screen yes yeah could you enlarge in it yep yeah.
All right, a little bit more. Enlarge a little bit more. Okay, so tell us how you got this total grade. The, do we do the participation percentage first, or would you jump to the last call? Yeah, we, we, grade. we've done all that part. We've done just the total grade. How'd you get there? Total grade, I just did the formula, which we have. What's formula? Have equal sum. Click in the box. Okay. I2 plus K2 plus M2 plus Q2, which is all the percentages that we got. Yep, that's what I did too. Dale, does that look right? Is that, do you do, is that well, what you did or what? Yeah, well, it does look right, but I thought there probably is a faster formula than that. So I didn't do anything because it was like, what if you have 25 that you have to add up? Then how do you do that? So that right, art, right, art, art, I what you... think that there's an easier way and I don't know what it is. Okay, Art, is there an easier way? Uh, in this case, I don't think so because uh, regardless, uh, we cannot do auto sum because of the there is too many data in the in the between we need just the specific uh, uh column to get the the data so uh honestly i don't think it's another way but uh paula do you think is it, there's a different way to do that from what alkata did well that was a good question from dale Actually, because in this oh, okay, case, Dale. we only have four to add. If there is a faster way, that would be great. So, Paula, what do you think? I don't know. Okay, so. So Dale, the problem is that all those columns where we have the values, right? Like Art said, there's stuff between them, right? Mm -hmm. You don't have four columns, right? Like next to each other. Right. So even if you had 25 columns and they were all like, you know, had stuff between them, you would have to pick out each one like what Arcata did. Okay, good to know. We still now, go sometimes, with the same formula, even though we have so many. Okay. Yes. Sometimes, now, you know, it sounds great that there's going to be an easier way, but you've done the hard job already. You have the values, right? Maybe there is, maybe there is a way to just sort of just know the columns you want to pick out and say, hey, Excel, do your thing. Well, I don't know there is. So sometimes you just got to put it in there and select each column. And the thing is, once you do it the first time, Dale, it's done. If you have a thousand students, it's easy. Just drag and drag and drag, right? Right. Okay. So it doesn't, al it doesn't always mean you're going to do less work, right? Uh, you don't, you don't the hard part with all the formulas. Um, there may be a way to get all those numbers but uh this is a way that i'm familiar with okay right so we have auto sum we have averages and th that will work if you had the columns right next to each other right but because we don't there's really no way for excel to know what you're trying to do because it, the columns are not next to each other right if you did auto sum like what arcada said you're going to be in trouble right because it's going to grab everything mm-hmm so unless the, the the other thing that i was thinking uh to do what dale is asking we can delete the the total uh, the total uh, but still we won't do it unless dale we can add another sheet in there with uh, with uh, the the information we delete all the everything that is between the those percentages and we do other sum awesome. Does that make any sense? Yeah, but 
But if you delete them, then the values are going to be missing. But we're gonna have we're gonna have the 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 total participation, aren't we? Or since because we deleted that they have formulas, the, so it will make it okay. Okay, le okay let me show you. Okay, the, can you delete uh delete p p the p column? So first of all, uh, hit escape, hit escape, uh, undo what you just did, undo. Okay, now delete the p column. No. Just right click and delete. Yeah. yeah. Now see what happens there, right? Art. Yeah. What now, is happening now? Formula. Can we click on the formula, please? What formula? That one. On the P2. Yes. Now yeah. delete the ref in there. Can you delete the ref? What will happen? <laughs> You are cutting off your arms, cutting off your toes, cutting off your legs, and says, I'm still going to stand as a complete human being. <laughs> I'm trying to give Dale an answer. <laughs> <laughs> so it did that because it's it called... doesn't have any reference point, right? Yeah. Exactly. It's like, what are you doing? You know, like, this is never going to work. I don't have I... any values for you. I think Dale, we should stick with also dancing arms. Is that correct? <laughs> I think you're right, Art. I'm with you. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes you just got to do the work. So undo what okay. you, undo that. Okay. Yeah. See, it's not that it's not. I think that uh, it's not that you don't have to do do the work. It's can you reduce the amount of steps. And I think we've done that. You have your columns and you can just use this as a template. In fact, every time I grade, I have lots and lots of students. I have a template like this. I just put the new students' names. I have the formulas in my columns. I just reuse the whole thing, right? Um, so you might, I mean, you might never have to do grading, but I think um, having a sheet like this where you have different percentages for different sections. I mean, this is this is complicated, guys, right? Yeah. I mean, you know, um, but knowing how we got to this point, I think it's uh, I think it's helpful for you to know. Okay, I can do this stuff. I just need to think about it a little bit and see how we got there. Okay. Yeah, it almost feels like you guys, you guys have no space to absorb anything else. Oh. Like, <laughs> okay, the cup is full and it's, you can't add any more. Right, Rowena? Oh, that is so funny. <laughs> He's no. probably in the corner crying. As I said, you need more caffeine. Uh, that's all I'm, you need. I'm fine. I'm doing it. Rowena, Rowena has been bashed and she's like, no way. I can't take any more, guys. I hate all of you guys. Oh, like, I know. Just go. I never want to see you again. <laughs> no, 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 no. I think, I think uh, the, the hardest part is uh, to understand what we're trying to do. Uh, because, you know, uh, formulas change and everything changes. But once we understand the concept of it, then uh, with the knowledge that we have and with, uh, you know, with all the stuff that we've done, I think uh, we, sh we should do it. Uh, it's just, uh, uh, I think on this type of uh, formulas, the hardest part is to understand that uh, when you have more than one group, to see how much every single particular group weight on the, on the total of the, of the groups. And uh, once we do that, uh, I think... Uh, from that point, it should be it should be easier. Yeah, I mean, how about how about taxes, right? I mean, this might even work like taxes. I mean, you have maybe you know you you have a home is taxed at this rate, and then there's this other part that you have to deduct deductions, and you know, I mean, you got to do all these calculations, but of course, you use something like um, Turbo Task, a uh, Turbo Tax that has everything just you know, automated. You just punch in your numbers and boom, 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 they tell you everything, right? So 
talking about IT, Rowena, uh, you know, being able to conceptualize some of these things, uh, this is what IT is, right? So people, I mean, Absolutely. imagine this, right? Imagine um, the people who build, what you might call it now, uh, who build the checkout machines. You go, to, you go to Target, you go to Stop and Shop, right? Now, the guy who builds the machine and the cashier that uses it and helps you out, well, who do you think gets, get, who gets, who gets paid more money here? The IT. Right? I know the IT person. The customer service people who tell you, okay, just click that button and you can check yourself out. <laughs> or the guys who are slaving, programming that machine and putting it together, right? So it depends on, I mean, you can be sure the skill involved here, right? So if I was going to lay somebody off, will I lay off the customer service person? Will I lay off the person who builds the machine, which is easier to lay off and replace? Right? So the things that generate the most value also demands the most from you. Right. Right? So don't, don't get upset about it. when you feel like you're, you're going into the deep end. Just, just do it because, uh, you know, people get paid a lot of money for doing a lot of things that just, that's hard for most people to do. And it takes time. It takes time. It takes a little bit. You know, you're doing it. You, I mean, you're talking about going to college and stuff like that. It's, it's tough, right? Just try to learn something you haven't learned before. Um, you know, but I'm sure you didn't think you could even, I did a lot of things that were done in Excel. You probably didn't think you could know any of them, right? When we started. So, uh, yeah, I mean, once I, I have to just sit down and just watch it again. And then obviously, you know, it's repetitive. You ha I have to continuously see it and do it. So it's like retaining the information oh, and then no remembering problems. to do it. You know how to do it. So I do want to yeah. look back at this and, and see. And I'm sure, like Art said before, this is like, I'm sure the bare minimum of what you actually do. So, but it's still a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot of coding. It's a lot. But. Well, it, it's, it's foundational, right? So I wouldn't say it's the bare minimum. Um, I mean, people who do more than this are, you know, most people don't have to do that, right? The things we've done in the last several weeks is what most people need to do, right? If you know all this stuff and you know it well, you will, you will, you will do well in a lot of, you know, employment situations, like a lot. Because <laughs> I have been around the block and people don't even go anywhere close to this. Yeah. You know? So if you, if you can master what we've done and go over the lectures and just allow yourself because, I mean, there's no, what's the word now? This is all based on your personal drive. Like Dale was saying, you go and review the videos. I mean, nobody's going to chase you. I'm not gonna, nobody's going to call you and say, did you not do it? What right. do you mean? Uh, we, we want a refund. No, it's the lectures are there and it's all for free paid by the state, which is the best part, right? You're not paying to go to school. So, so going over this stuff, you know, just as much as you can, you know, and I, look, I make myself available to my students who have even left the class. So I, I never say no. If you tell me, uh, can I talk to you for a second? I would never say no to that. Right. For me, I do this all the time. Right. But it's your investment in yourself. Right. Right. So, so Amy, what do you think? I've you learned. have just about enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've learned a, a lot from you, and I just want to thank you very much. Very, very much. I've learned a ton from you. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. When I tell people that I'm learning Excel, they're like, oh, my God, come to my house and do my paperwork. <laughs> do my finances for me i've never learned excel and i'm like well i don't know if i'm ready for that well why not tell them well that's going to be uh 50 bucks an hour i'll take care of you <laughs> you know and then you just and they just say amy uh amy can you help me out here we'll split the we'll split you know we'll split the pay <laughs> you know <laughs> seriously you know seriously 
You know, I learned that you never say no to an opportunity. And then you figure it out. You figure it out. Yeah. You know, even on the job, sometimes you just figure it out. You know? Right. 